Well, hello everybody and welcome to day five of the EdTech Teachers 12 Tech Tips of Christmas series. My name is Tristan and I am the creator of the EdTech Teacher. On today's episode, we are going to show you how easy it is to access a range of Google tools without needing to be in G Suite or Drive. How great is that? Well, let's get started with day five of the 12 Tech Tips of Christmas from the EdTech Teacher. So if you're a big fan of G Suite, you'll know that it's a very versatile tool to use in our classroom. It's a great alternative to the Microsoft suite of applications. And G Suite provides us with a whole range of awesome tools from docs and sheets and slides, and then Jamboard, drawings, keep tasks, everything that's available. Now, to go and access these awesome applications, you know, involves going into our G Suite application, our G Drive, opening up a new document from our browser. But did you know that there's actually some really handy shortcuts that you can type into your Omnibox or your address bar in your web browser that's going to allow you to create a new document, a new slide deck, a new sheet, a new drawing from our browser window without having to go into G Suite. So, I'm going to show you how to use these and I'm going to tell you what these shortcuts are. I think pretty quickly you're going to cotton on and realize that they're actually really simple and there is the same process involved with each of these different addresses and, and shortcuts that I'm going to give you. So I'm going to head up to my Omnibox or otherwise known as my address bar and I'm going to do my first one. So maybe I need to head to my drive. So I'm going to type drive.google.com in and it's going to take me straight to my G drive. It's going to take me to my drive. So this is my personal drive that is about to come up here. I don't use my personal drive. Um, it's got a few things in there, but I don't tend to use it that much. So it's taken me straight to my personal drive just by typing drive.google.com into the Omnibox there. Right, so say I want to open and create a new Google Doc. So, same process, but this time I'm going to replace Drive with Docs. So I'm going to go docs.google.com, and it's going to take me to the Google Docs landing page. Here, I can go in and I can access the template gallery. All right, of all the different templates that are available in Docs. I can go up here and I can search for a particular document that I might have created and I can scroll down here and see anything that I have created. Now just be wary that when you do use this process of typing docs.google.com into the Omnibox that it is going to open the, um, the, the connection that is based on what you're connected to within Google. So in this case it's my personal account. So when I do anything like docs.google.com into my Omnibox, it's going to open up to my personal G, um, G Suite, G Drive. So just be wary of that. It is really easy to change by clicking on your image and then you can go and change your account. But just be aware that it will open up the G Drive application and G Suite application that is connected to the account that is signed in on your computer or device that you are using. All right, let's go to another one and have a look at something else. So maybe we want to open a new slide deck. So we go slides.google.com. You can see it's the same process. So we're taking the name of our application and then we're adding .google.com. So same thing, we've got our search capacity, we've got our templates, and we've got our previously opened slides that we can go and access as well there. All right, same for sheets. If we need to use sheets, sheets.google.com. Same thing, same landing page template gallery, search bar, and our previously opened sheets there as well. Maybe we want to go and use another really amazing tool, which is called Google Keep. Same process. We just go keep.google.com, and it's going to take us to our Keep page. All right, so here are some of my Keep notes that I have created. Okay, you can see there's some here about the tech teacher and my shopping list and the recipe. So keep.google.com will take you to your personal Keep page. We can also do it with Calendar. So if we're using Google Calendar, calendar.google.com to access our calendars. All right, really simple, really easy, just by typing in the name of those applications 
followed by .google.com. All right, I'm going to show you a couple more. So maybe you're a Jamboard user. Jamboard.google.com will take you to Jamboard, where you can jam it up with whatever you are doing with your uh, students or colleagues. And the last one I'm going to show you is another really awesome tool from Google, and it's Google Drawings. So we're going to go drawings.google.com, and it's going to take us to that blank Google Drawings page where we can create our masterpiece. Now, just be aware that not every Google application will allow you to do this. So, for example, if you'd like to use tasks, you can't go tasks.google.com because that doesn't exist. So, just be aware of that, that some of those Google applications don't follow the same process of going up to and typing in the application name followed by .google.com. Well, there you go. Some really simple tricks to access those Google tools really quickly and easily rather than having to head to G Suite every time you need to open up a new doc, a new sheet, a new slide deck, a new Jamboard, etc. Well, this is day five. Day five already of the 12 Tech Tips of Christmas. I can't believe that we're already getting through. There's not too many to go until Santa, day, Santa arrives, which is awesome. So... My name is Tristan. I am the creator of the EdTech Teacher. Thanks for joining us for Day 5. Stay tuned for Day 6 coming tomorrow in the 12 Tech Tips of Christmas from the EdTech Teacher. Until then, everybody, stay safe. Thank you so much for watching this video from the EdTech Teacher. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up so that you can tell other people just how amazing the videos and tutorials are from the EdTech Teacher. And if you haven't done so already, we would love it if you would head over here and click the red subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget that once you've subscribed to our channel, to click the notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are added to our channel. We are so grateful that you've taken the time to watch one of our videos, and we hope you come back very soon. Thanks very much from the EdTech Teacher.